I'm Jazzy Ellis, and I'm a stunt performer in Atlanta, Georgia. I've been in over 40 films and TV shows. The Walking Dead, Shots Fired, Avengers, New Godzilla, King of the Monsters, which is coming out soon. Fun stuff. <laughs> There's not a lot of black stunt performers. When I started, there were no black stunt women in Louisiana, so that's why I shot up so quickly, because I filled a need. Today we worked on conditioning, because a stunt performer always has to be in shape and ready to go for anything they ask for, really. So we did basic punches, kicks, and then we worked on fight sequences and taking reactions. We're hired to make things look real, to keep people safe, and if it doesn't look real, it just gives away the whole scene. This is a clip from The House with the Clock in Its Walls, and I'm the stunt double for Renee Elise Goldsberry. <laughs> this whole beginning part is Renee. Like, she's making that jump in the harness, in the wires to get that key. And then when she's shot by this beam, that's me. That's all me just flying. I hit the door and then I fall and then that's Renee again. Movie magic. This is what's called a ratchet. And a ratchet is a pressurized system. You just have to press a button and I go flying. So that's what happened. <laughs> and it's super fun. Do y'all have your seatbelt on? Yeah. Thanks. My goal, like in high school, I was supposed to be a doctor. I went to Princeton. And this might sound crazy or silly, but like I made a bucket list. And no one else has a bucket list like this, I know. But like to be set on fire for fun, to motorcycle, to stunt drive, or to race car drive, to skydive. And at the time that I made this list, I was a high school teacher. I was like, what? career could I have where I can really accomplish all of this. And stunts was kind of the only thing that fit. After I resigned from teaching, it took three months of hardcore training before I was working full time and consistently. And that's kind of all I needed. And as I go along, I pick up more skills because I'm definitely not where I want to be in stunts. Uh, there's so many more skills I need to learn, but I'm training, I'm learning as much as I can. I'm excited about strengthening my fighting. That's number one. Besides that, I want to get better at fire burns because I love fire. Um, I still have yet to do a full body fire burn. I've only done partial. So I'm ready for that full body fire burn. Like, light me up. <laughs> light me up. <laughs> So I go through this every time I have an audition. <laughs> I just make it work. I'm auditioning for an EMT. Most actors use a service, but this was super last minute. I'm just coming from work, and this is my last chance that I have to do this. My goal is to be that actress who does her own stunts. Besides the bucket list that I made, I, I always wanted to be my own superhero, and so I know martial arts, I shoot guns, I play with knives. Just being that person for young women, instead of them thinking that they have to be saved by someone else, they can be that for themselves. So it'd be cool to play that. Yeah, that's a nice goal. <laughs> I like that. Now I just gotta learn the, my lines and uh, pick my outfits. We're gonna be creative today. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. Cool. The EMT has very little makeup, but I have all of these scars on my face from prosthetics that I wore a lot last season. So I gotta cover those up. I could have just put a wig on from work, but I really had to do this because it's so important for me to have my natural hair. And that's because 
Little girls need to know that their curls are beautiful. My friend Juwan Dee started a directory for stunt performers of color, and I think that's helped a lot for us. The excuse that coordinators used to use was, we can't find them. Did you look? So now they have no excuse. You have to have a certain number of credits to be on this list. So people like Joy would not be on this list if she were still alive and working stunts. I have a lot of thoughts on Deadpool 2 and what happened to Joy. This was Joy's very first stunt job ever. Ever. She had never trained for stunts on a motorcycle. She was a racer. So to say that black women aren't good enough when you're not even looking at the stunt women who applied for the job, I have an issue with that. Dee Bryant, she is one of the best, if not the best, on motorcycles and stunts. She wasn't given the job. She actually just finished a job similar to what Joy did. Um, I'm sorry, I'm getting like emotional even thinking about it. <sighs> For this to have been Joy's first job, she didn't know the kinds of questions that stunt performers would ask. Like, where's my helmet? She didn't have a helmet. A white stunt man said, roughly, blackface shouldn't be a problem because look at what happened on Deadpool 2. Meaning, they think it should be okay to hire a white stunt performer and paint them because black people aren't good enough. And I still don't think blackface should be allowed in stunts. It still happens all the time. Happened a few times this month on a few shows. When there's skilled performers. And it's hard to talk about, but I've been, I've been talking about this for years with, without anything changing. It's, I feel like one day someone's going to hear me and they're going to have enough power to protect everyone. All I know is that this is the job I want and I'm going to keep working for it. So, yeah. This works. There needs to be more writing for the roles of people of color so that we can come in and do the action for them. It's worth it. We're worth it. I'm Jazzy Ellis. I'm 5'7", from Atlanta, Georgia.